IPv6 addresses. In this video, again, I want to talk about unicast IPv6 address. And now I want to start to talking about the unique local address. Unique local address or ULA, unique local address. Okay, this is the next type of IPv6 unicast address. Let's first review the IPv4 again to find a counterpart for this type of IPv4 IP address IPv6 address in IPv4. Look at here. You know that in IPv4 we can use a, speci a special range for unicasting that we call it RFC 1918. Okay? Or maybe you call it private IP address range. Okay, you know private IP address. We are using private IP addresses for, for example, reducing the usage of the public IP address in IPv4 because in IPv4 we have shortage of IPv4 address. Because of that, we, we should use private IP address in the, for example, IPv4. And then we can use, for example, NAT to communicate between the private range and public range. You know that inside of our network, we are using private ranges. And then, for example, in a router or in a firewall, we have a NAT device. And then we can communicate with the public, for example, internet. Okay, this is the private IP address range. Interesting things is that we have a counterpart for private IP address for RFC 1918 in the IPv6. The name, the name of this counterpart is unique local address. The better name unique means it should be unique, but where unique in local, for example, site, local domain, local company, unique local address, better name or ULA. ULA is counterpart of private IP addresses in the IPv4. Be because of that, maybe in some resources, you see this name for ULA, ULA IP addresses, for the private IPv6 address. But ULA is better, private IPv6 or addresses, or addresses, or for example, local IPv6 address. But ULA, but ULA is best name for this range of IPv6 addresses. Okay, we are using unique local address or ULA, okay, only inside of our networks. We can use it, for example, for send traffic for, from one system to another system, like public IP addresses in IPv6 that we call it global unicast, but we should use unique local address only inside of our network. Okay, maybe you want to use NAT for communicating between the unique local address and, uh, for example, in public internet. You can use NAT in IPv6. But the reason that unique local address is created is not the shortage of IPv6 address. You know that we don't have any shortage of IPv6 address in IPv6 world. Okay. The reason that unique local addresses are created is the control and security. We can use this range for, for example, more control to communication between inside of our network and outside of our networks. Because of that, the reason of unique local address or ULA is different the reason of created creating the for example RFC 1918 in the IPv4 in IPv4 the reason to creating RFC 1918 IPv4 addresses is the shortage of the IPv4 address you know it but the reason for creating the unique local addresses or ULA is more control and also more security. I will talk about unique local address more in the future videos, but for now I want to show you how is the format and how we can write a unique, at, unique local address. Look at here, unique local address range is, unique local address range is FC 
zero zero double colon slash seven. This is the range of unique local address. Let me to show you what is the start and end of the unique local address. It's so easy. FC00 double column slash 7. What does this mean? This means that every IP address that created with 7 bit equal to this I range is a, for example, unique local address. And that means that FC, F means 1111 one, 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 quad one and then c one one zero zero and then zero 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 and then zero 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 converting hexadecimal to binary now seven bits should be equal to this ip address you know that seven bits okay are from for example here four bit and then seven bit okay we have also one another bit this bits, the eight bits, these bits can be zero or one. If you use zero, this means that the link local, the unique local IPv6 address started with the FC. And if you use, for example, one for the eight bit, the result is that FD. Okay. You can understand, you can see that the start of the range of the for example unique local address is fc00 fc00 the first ip and the last ip is fdff -F, okay because you can use the, the eight bits as one and all of these bits as one again and finally we have fdff -F. the start of the range is fc0 and the last train last ip is the fdff this is the unique local address we will talk about unique local address in some topics in the future videos but for now i want to review the features of the unique local address the first things is that they can be used just like global unicast addresses okay global unicast addresses is the public ip address or a counterpart of public IPv4 address okay I will talk about the global unicast in the future videos in IPv6 okay unique local address can be used just like this global unica unica uh, unicast address but only inside of the network okay global unicast address can be used for example in the internet and this is same as the private IPv4 address and public IPv4 address equal private equal unique local address and public equal global unicast address then the next things is that these ip addresses unique local addresses are independent of any isp and can be used within a site even without having internet connectivity okay these are these ips are unique local only unique local address you don't need to negotiate to any i with any isp to use this range okay and don't forget these ip addresses cannot be routed directly into the in the internet such as or same as the R the rfc 1918 ipv4 addresses for example you can use this range of ipv ipv6 address for the devices that never need to access to for example internet global internet okay and uh, and also they allow sites to be combined or privately interconnected without address conflicts and without requiring address renumbering okay you know that we can use for example this unique local address in uh, in one site and same unique local address in another site and we can use some tools for kind of interconnecting between these two sites same as the rfc 1918 in the ipv4 okay this is the next ipv6 next type of ipv6 unicast addresses unique local you can see that until now, unspecified loopback and unique, lo unique local addresses or ULA have counterpart in the IPv4. Okay, but another type of IPv6 are exist 
that doesn't have any counterpart in the IPv4. For example, link local address. Link local address doesn't have any counterpart in the IPv4.